And we're back to Code the Ogre Quest for Infinity. The special guest star, Lincoln. You got it. I seriously need to remember to keep doing commentary for this. And I'm not like a professional LP like Nintendo Capri Sun and all that. It, I mean, I really need to get into doing this a little more. So I'm continuously forgetting about it. Mainly because of all that YouTube screwing up stuff. Yeah, I personally don't like everything. Well, they fixed the loading problems when in the videos. Because, I mean, before it was just going really slow, but now it's actually working very well. Do you the uploader seems to be a lot more responsive. After the explosion of the main tower in the desert? <laughs> and, oh, maybe I should have done an LP on something that I can actually have commentary for, because there's not, there's nothing really, nothing really happens in this game. That's why I don't like it. energy mass reappears, we can test the turbo. Well, the show's much better, right? I don't know, I just wanted to do something that really hasn't been done yet. And Will you make up your minds? We haven't got much time. So, there's two levels you can do here. I don't think it really matters what order you do them in, because you know, the same thing will happen. Now, like I said before, you'll, you'll start getting points really fast in the future. You don't really get much here, so your power-ups power are kind of well, nothing. Yeah. But once you reach the second half, which is indicated pretty well when you're in the second half, then you start getting a lot. Because of one specific enemy that drops just a crap ton. Now a lot apparently kind of like game. Just a lot to where like you can buy quite a few stuff with simply just, with just killing a few. And, then, and you know what I noticed here? I noticed the scanner goes up instead of down for Aida. Me and Michael were talking about that. We thought it might be because she's going into a whole normal world. Well, if you actually watch the series and see you find out it's actually not her it's not her own world. Well, I mean she was originally from this world. No, no. She was actually she was actually a human like normal. But she just had uh, a few props. Oh, well, shit, I don't know. I, 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 the show is weird. It got confusing around that point. I really don't understand. From what I'm guessing, there are like these weird kind of secret agents after after them or something. And so her dad put her into Lyoko to protect her. And then I guess he went and I and then I guess he went missing. And so. Then she got trapped in here, and then for some reason her human data like went missing or something. I don't know. Oh, whatever. It's still really weird how it goes the opposite way. There's the tower. Here I go. No, Aelita, that's not the right tower. The super scan says that the one we want kind is further away. Kind of pointless. Quick. Oh, they just have that tower, and you have to go up there and wait for them to say that's not the right tower. Hey, hey, please don't get in the tower. Get all the way to the top. Hey, that's not the right tower. Damn it! Your princess is in another castle. <laughs> I don't really like it when it does stuff like this. I mean, if it's a bunch of different directions, I can understand why it has to show you a path you have to take. It. But when it's something as linear as this, it really yeah. Now that was just being a part. <laughs> I'm, I was kind of rushing here, so... Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm not doing very well. So seriously, it, it gives you... It gives you those cards so often, your stats are just going to get way too high. Or this game you know, has no difficulty in it whatsoever. You'll have to use <laughs> petrification. The loading curve actually goes down! Actually, what I think I may try in the future, I'm going to try to play through this without getting any of those cards. Honestly, I can't remember really what the end game is like. I don't even I don't even remember if there's really a big final boss. 
because I know in the DS game there was a final boss that took me a million tries to actually beat. But in this one, I really don't know. I think it's just fight really something. Watch out for the monster! It's a ah, I thought that's fun. Oh, How do I get rid of it? According to the super calculator, it has no. It, wait, no, whoa! He's in super calculator. Yeah, that's um, that's just translation because this my anime was originally French, so there's a, kind of, there's a few translation really? errors. Unlike most, that. unlike most games that are well Japanese, this one's French, and so the translation isn't perfect. It does that a lot, mainly for super calculator and super computer. But they don't do that in the show. They say it's super computer. It's kinda weird. Maybe they're just This is no real The only translation that ever ends up being truly good is, is Japanese to English or vice versa. The only reason the lines don't always end up matching perfectly is because of our stupid censorship. Yeah. It's like, it's like with Sonic X, they completely demolished it in the English version. Yeah, they actually say the S word in some Japanese shows, but... They don't really care about age restrictions. Yeah. The only thing that really matters is, like, nudity and stuff like that. Yeah. That is, I believe, in some Japanese shows. I, I heard that they actually sell, uh, like... Um, hentai comics from libraries and stuff. So, they're called Dojin. Yeah. Go, Jin. Screw it! Yeah, I kinda know. Go, Jin, Shi. Something like that. Yeah. I kinda figured that out considering I'm always watching that. <laughs> he always. Like, he's just. Like, when he's that. Whenever we're at my dad, he's just sitting there on his PSP looking at stuff. Blowing my bed. Yeah. Oh, that's a creepy man. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I realize it thing it happens in real life to that kind of What's stuff, but it's just never seen anything like it, Jeremy. Ooh. Um, this was actually the enemy I'm talking about that gives you a lot of points. Right now, it's currently a boss, but in a later level, these actually become normal enemies. And these things are a pain to kill. Luckily, not nearly as bad as this one. Because this one actually has an energy shield. And I, when they're normal enemies, they don't have a shield, so it's a lot better. The only way to get rid of the shield is with triple cape, which takes up way too much energy. So hopefully I'll upgrade that, eventually. These things just take forever to kill. <laughs> The jump slash seems to not do anything. It seems really worthless. Wait, what? Well done. Yeah. Yeah, uh, very, very choppy cutting. It was, um, I, I didn't even think he died. He just stopped. Stopped and went straight to the cutscene. Oh man, that was. It's weird how it keeps switching from the anime to type graphics to the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it seems like this, they just use the anime, because... Yeah, yeah, why completely do it? When, when this scene was done a million times already. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the Chimera Code. Woo! Chimera Code! The, the point of the Chimera Code is that when, it, when it's done, it destroys the replica. Because this is actually a replica, not the real sex... And that goes bang. And Boom. Nothing. Boom. Okay, oh yeah, this actually happened once before. That's right, this actually happened once before. Now, before we encountered this weird light that just couldn't keep up with it. This is, in my opinion, the hardest stage. This is probably, in my opinion, the hardest stage of the game. You can die so easy here. Basically, you have to keep picking up these objects that are turbo boosters. And to keep up with, with, with this light. Problem is, you're going so fast, you're going to keep crashing into stuff. I died so many times here on my first playthrough. And I don't even know if it gives you any help. Looks to me as if the energy is going towards the replica that's further away. Not another replica. 
I really don't know. I can't quite remember. I think they may have revealed it in the show. They might not have. I don't know. Another replica bites the dust. Yeah, but for every replica we destroy, we discover another one. We'll never finish. I know. I entered its coordinates into the super calculator. We should have more info soon. But yeah, it's a so for the win. Think Xana could have created a copy of Sector Five. We'll know that very soon. Okay, uh, see you next time. Yeah.